Okay. This is the second example of solving exponential equations where no logs are needed. And much like the first example, we need to get everything that is not an exponential on over to one side. And so, it uh, looks like that 2 needs to move on over to the right-hand side. And we're going to do that by, since I have a fraction over here on the, uh, the right-hand side, I'm going to just multiply everything by a half. And I'm going to multiply everything by a half over here. And so that said, is that I can um, get rid of these twos then. So that two is going to cancel with this two. And this two is going to cancel with this two. And I'm going to be left with uh, 3 raised to the 2x plus 5 power equals 1 9. Okay, so we have that yucky fraction there. And so what we want to do is that we want to get that 1 9 to look like something of a base of 3. So we can equate the exponents to one another and solve for x. So therefore, um, let's go ahead and rewrite this guy as... And so we got to kind of think, um, well, what happens if I were to go and put this kind of like this guy right here, okay? and uh, 1 over 3 to the second power. However, I need the base to be 3, and the base is not 3 here, and so I can rewrite this using the property of negative exponents as 3 to the negative 2 power. And so now I have the base of 3, and that's going to make uh, my solving a lot easier from here on out, because once I equate the bases, I can begin to solve for the exponents. So I have 3 to the 2x plus 5 power on the left, and now I rewrite 1 9th as 3 to the negative 2 power. And so therefore, now that I have these like bases, I can set the exponents equal to one another and solve. And now I have some simple algebra to do, and it's a matter of time before I get my solution here. So I get 2x plus 5 equals a negative 2, subtract 5, and then divide by 2, and it looks like x is going to give me a negative 7 over 2. Um, and so, we're going to have to sometimes do some creative rewriting using some uh, some properties of, uh, of exponents, and um, yeah, our next examples, we're going to be moving on to uh, some exponential equations that do need logs in order to, uh, to get them solved.